So this is uh, the question of 2018, uh, May, June, paper 2-1. And the question number is uh, 6. 6 here. Uh, the question, uh, the first question says, define the volt. So volt is the SI unit of uh, potential difference. And since uh, the potential difference is the work required to uh, carry unit positive charge through any device or across any device, so we have... Uh, uh, the uh, the SI unit of the PD, the volt, should be equal to SI unit of work and by the SI unit of charge. So it should be equal to, simply equal to uh, joules, joules uh, per coulomb, per coulomb, per coulomb. So now, the main question here. Uh, a battery of electromotive force, uh, EMF 4.5 volt, as shown here. And the negligible internal resistance so is connected to two filament lamps P and Q, which are in parallel. And uh, that arrangement is in series with the resistor R, as shown in the figure. The current in lamp A, lamp P, is 0.15 ampere. So here it says it is a 0.15 ampere. So let me write it here. The current here is 000.15 ampere. Ampere. The IV characteristics of the filament lamps are shown in figure 6.2, like this. Uh, as usual characteristics, in a filament lamp, what happens is, as the volt increases, uh, the graph slopes more towards the volt, which means that when we take the ratio R equal to V by I, it goes on increasing. It goes on increasing. Because the resistance is equal to the ratio of potential difference and current, according to Ohm's law. So as more it stoops towards, more it inclines towards the uh, potential difference, R goes on increasing. So now, uh, here we have to find, use figure 6.2 to determine the current in the battery. So we have to find the current coming from the battery like this, or current going to the battery like this, with this data. So if the current through uh, lamp P is 0.15 ampere, we have to find the PD across here by using this graph. So, for lamp P, the current of 0.15 ampere resembles this. And when it comes down, when it comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, the point is over here. So, this thing should be, this thing should be 2.0, uh, should be uh, 2.567. So, the PD should be equal to, the PD from here to here should be equal to 2.7 volt. And at that time, and at uh, <coughs> excuse me, at 2.7 volt, the current through the uh, through the bulb Q should <coughs> should be like this. From here to here, it should be here. So it should be since it's 0.05, it should be 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09. So it should be 0 0.09, 0 an ampere. So the current through here should should be 0 0.09 ampere and uh, the current here should be the sum of these things from the course of first law so when i add these two the current here will be will be uh, 0 0.0.24 ampere so here i can write here uh, one is ip ip is equal to 0 0.15 ampere iq uh, from the graph from the graph should be equal to 0 0.09 ampere and the total current I is equal to IP plus IQ <coughs> equal to 0 0.24 ampere so the answer is 0 0.24 ampere and here I forgot to mention one thing so if IP equal to 0 0.15 ampere we have this V2 let me say this speed is equal to V2. V2 should be equal to 2.7 volt. So that gives us the two marks here. Now, in the following question, we have to find, calculate the resistance of the resistor R. So it means we have to find the value of the resistance R here. So for that, first of all, we need to find the PD across this resistor R. So let us say here, 
uh, v1 should be equal to the emf minus v2 so if i if i use the symbol here if i say this thing is equal to v1 if i say this thing is equal to v1 then this v1 plus v2 equal to e so that's why v1 should be equal to e minus v2 e minus v2 so this gives us e is equal to uh, 4.5 volt already and this v2 is equal to as we already uh, derived here so v2 has been equal to 2.7 volt so it should be minus 2.7 volt and this comes to be uh, equal to equal to this uh, color stuff has uh, spoiled me actually so it is a 4.5 minus 2.7 and it is 1.8 volt 1.8 1.8 volt now the current here the current through uh, this portion is uh, 0 0.25 ampere so that's why the resistance r should be equal to if i follow ohm's law this r should be equal to v1 by the current equal to v1 equal to 0 0.24 and the current is equal to uh, zero, sorry excuse me uh, i made a mistake here so uh, the v1 is equal to 1.8 volt and uh, uh, the current is equal to is equal to 0 0.24 0 0.24 ampere so the answer should be answer should be divided 0.24 equal to so it is uh, 7.5 equal to 7.5 ohm so the value of resistance is equal to 7.5 ohm now uh, question number three so the filament wires of the two lamps are made from material of same uh, resistivity so that means uh, uh, rho is same for both of them at their operating temperature in the circuit the diameter of the wire of lamp p is twice so it means that uh, diameter of p is equal to twice of diameter of q which also means that if i calculate the cross section here this ap should be equal to equal to four times of the cross section of q because uh, cross section is equal to uh, pi d squared by four so since it is square term it should increase by four now we need to find the uh, ratio of the ratio of length of the two wires so let's first uh, find the correlation between them we know that r equal to rho l by a so uh, it means uh, if i have uh, r p by r q then i must have rho is same so it is l p by a p by uh, l q by a q by a q <coughs> so so which will give us l p by l q should be equal to uh, r p so r p and then uh, it should go there r p a p by 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 it is r q a q now we have to find uh, the resistances of uh, both p and q so if i look at the uh, look at the previous page here what uh, i have is there was uh, uh, v2 was equal to v2 was equal to equal to 2.7 volt uh, the current through ip was equal to 0 0.15 uh, ampere and the current through iq was equal to uh, 0 0.09 ampere <laughs> it was our data from the previous page so this means that our rp should be equal to uh, 2.7 volt which is v2 by ip which is 0 0.15 ampere and our rq should be equal to 2.7 by uh, 0 0.09 so this thing uh, comes out to be 18 ohm and this thing comes out to be 30 ohm so that means uh, the ratio now will be equal to so lp by lq should be equal to rp equal to 18 by rq equal to 30 and this ap and aq will be equal to ap equal to 4 aq and this is simply aq this and this cancel 
So we'll have uh, uh, 3, 5, 3, 4, 12. So it is 12 by 5, which is equal to 2.4 is to 1. So the ratio is equal to 2.4 is to 1. Now the last question. In the last question, what you have is, the lamp Q suddenly breaks. So in the previous circuit, which I can draw it here, uh, we had a resistor R like this. And we have uh, this, this was the lamp P from the previous page. This was lamp Q like this. And the wire was simply like this. So this was Q and this is P. So if this thing breaks, if this thing breaks, then our circuit will simply be equal to, equal to like this. So this will be R, R, and this will be simply P. This will be, sorry, this will be simply P. And the P, will, the circuit will be like this. So if in a uh, parallel arrangement, if any of the resistor is removed, removed or we can say uh, there was some sort of uh, uh, fusion or some sort of a blasting or some sort of uh, damage to the resistor then 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 the overall resistance here should increase when we some add something to parallel the overall resistance decreases and when we something removed from parallel then the overall resistance increases so that means the resistance here increases so let, let us see uh, if if Q breaks, Q breaks, then I'll have, let me put, name this thing as XY, RXY increases. RXY increases. Then according to the voltage divider theorem, what we do have is, so if we need VXY, then that's equal to RXY by RXY plus this R into this E. So if Rxy increases, according to the voltage divider formula, we can easily and safely say that this Vxy also increases. Vxy also increases. Now, if Vxy increases, since this is a filament lamp, its uh, resistance should also increase because the property of a filament is lamp is like this. V, O, I, it goes on like this. If V increases, the graph uh, uh, will incline more towards this V and if you take the ratio of R equal to V by I anywhere anywhere so here it will be more resistance here less resistance here less resistance so if V X Y increases then this R P should 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 increase so it also increases overall